Hey everyone, welcome back to Winch Outdoors. In this video, we're going to be comparing our trusty 1995 Toyota 80 Series Land Cruiser for an epic overlanding trip across the country. First up on our list of upgrades is a rear sleeping platform. We're going to be using plywood to build a sturdy and comfortable sleeping area in the back of this 80 Series Land Cruiser. We also uh, have these uh, spacer blocks from Solve Logic that we're going to put underneath the back seat. Uh, to make it a flat surface that'll connect up to a sleeping platform. Um, should be a good solution uh, in order to keep our back seats on this trip because I would like to keep my back seats. Now you can see these fold down but they're not quite flat. So what the solve function, what they do is they go right there Now, when you sit the second row seats down, it folds flat, okay? Okay. Now that the platform is built, we're installing it into the Land Cruiser using some grade 8 hardware utilizing uh, the third row seat latches. It's going to be slick. All right, well, as you can see behind me, we got our sleeping platform built and installed, and it's ready to pack up. Now, I'm not sure, I think I'm just going to leave it open like this. Uh, not tie myself into a drawer system because I feel like I can get more stuff into it But either way, I'm either gonna put a tote back here or Tools or whatever else I've got in my kit. I just wanted to show uh, the sleeping platform. I think I, mean, I think it came out real nice This carpet's a pretty good match um, The seats fold down flat. It's really exactly what I wanted um, Anyway um, On to the next thing. Let's get on it Next up, we're adding some new lights to the Land Cruiser to make it easier to see when we're out on the trails. We're starting with some ditch lights that we're mounting using Yoda Tech mounts. These LED lights and mounts are going to make it much easier to see when we're maneuvering in tight spaces on the trail, but we're also adding some backup lights and mounting them using Yoda Tech mounts as well. First steps: to remove this. So, we, uh, what we gotta do is we have to take this little rubber insert and put it in this, let me show you. It's not too hard. I will need, or you will need, a flathead screwdriver or something to push it out with. You just do it to the other side. Push it out. Push it out. Oops. There we go. You pop that out. And then you just pop it in. And you're done. Pretty sweet. Pretty straightforward. And now this mounts back on the Land Cruiser. And this is spare parts. Perfect, love it. But we're not done yet. We're also adding some spotlights to the front of our ARB bumper. And we'll be ready to tackle even the darkest of trails. All right. Well, Got some different lights for this front. 
We're gonna repurpose these front lights for the back. These spotlights are going to be our main source of lighting when we're deep out on the trails at night. They're super bright and will help us see really far out ahead of the vehicle. Okay. We took those that were on the front and put them back here. Okay, so those are gonna be our reverse lights on both sides. We're also adding some new side mirrors that we ordered from Amazon. These side mirrors are gonna make it much easier to see what's behind us, and they're much more sturdy than the old ones that just flopped around. They're gonna be a great addition to the Land Cruiser. Out with the old, in with the new. We're gonna drill a hole right here. This is gonna be an access hole for our wiring to get back up in there. And then it'll come through with the wiring from the mirror. So just wanted to give you a little update. So that's gonna be, I made a mark, now I'm gonna drill that hole out. All right. This is like, I wish I had a third hand sort of deal, but. We're gonna try to get all this installed without dropping any of it. If it sounds like I'm struggling, it's probably cause I am. That was a stretch. Good thing I got long arms. Okay. There we go. We got one that'll hold it. Let's take a look. <whistles> Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Now with all the lights installed, the Land Cruiser is looking and performing better than ever, but we're not done yet. We're also gonna add some Lux rock lights before all is said and done so that we'll have light when we're setting up camp and we can see the terrain out on the trail. Good morning. We're back working on the Land Cruiser today. Uh, we're gonna get our rock lights installed and uh, hopefully all my switches will be in today from FedEx and we'll get our new switches wired up because we've already got our bumper lights, our reverse lights and our ditch lights installed we just need to get all those wired up so we're ready. Um, so come on with me and let's get started. All right, thanks. Winch Outdoors. Hey, this is a good moment. This is a good moment. It's a good moment. I'm feeling it right now. I got the chi flowing through me. Listen, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead, smash that subscribe button. <laughs> Sounds stupid, doesn't it? Smash that subscribe button. No, look, seriously, if you do me a favor, subscribe to the channel it's the easiest quickest thing you can do to help me um, if you like this kind of content and want to keep seeing uh, these types of videos smash that subscribe button and give me a like maybe maybe go down to the comments below and check out and see what kind of craziness is going on down there uh, the comment section is that's wh that's where you guys can really flow you know what I mean so anyway let me know what you think of the Land Cruiser and the work we're doing on it. And uh, yeah, check it out. Let's get to work. Okay, so let me get you up to speed. Yesterday, we brought all the rock lights in and now we've got them terminated to one, well, two wires, a positive and a neutral ground. 
So when we hook those up, we get lights. Sweet. So now we just gotta hook them up to a switch, and like I said, get uh, get the ditch lights and the reverse lights wired up. That's where we are. Next up, I want to show you this OEM Toyota LX450 uh, brush card light switch. Uh, you can still get these from Toyota. I've just been fooling with this switch some, and uh, it didn't come with a wiring diagram. And it, um, you know, it took some trial and error to figure it out. But I wanted to show you, if you're looking at it this way, that top post, that's your ground. The side post, that's your positive 12 volts. And that lower post there, that's your switch 12 volts. So that'll go to your accessory, whether it be light or uh, whatever it's gonna be. But, and with it wired like that, when you flip it on, the light will come off, or come on, and when you flip it off, the light will go off. So, should work right. All right, so. We just got a package. I found the company online. I think on eBay actually. Uh, called Air On Board. Uh, they make some switches that supposedly fit into the 80 series um, cutouts, factory cutouts. So they were pretty reasonable. Less than $20 a switch. Um, got a wiring diagram here. That'll come in handy. Fuse relay must be used. Yep, 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 yep. So, uh, supposedly that's going to light up. That's going to be for our rear lights. Comes with a little wiring harness with a pigtail. So, rear lights. And uh, I saw this one. I already have this particular switch covered, but when I saw how good this looked, I said, well, let me try. I got a air compressor switch. So they're supposedly lighting up green. We will find out. All right, I wanted to, uh, while I got it all apart, I wanted to take a minute to show you guys what I've got going on um, with this uh, rear quarter panel on the Land Cruiser. I've got my air compressor mounted back here. Normally this is all covered up. This bracket, um, I did make that myself. Custom, um, but it's pretty, pretty simple, honestly. You should be able to see uh, this light right there that's it. that's the light that's it that little tiny thing i got one there one right there i've got one right there that that's attached to this slider and the other one right there attached to that slider right there on the frame where right where it dips up and again on this side pair you know and then right behind this tire, right up there. Again, right on the frame. And that's the way they're mounted, you know. Pretty sweet. With that said, while we got it up in the air, we're gonna go ahead and do a couple maintenance things, change the oil. Um, but I just wanted to take an opportunity to show you those uh, rock lights. It's pretty uh, slick the way they, they mount up. With the rock lights installed, we're all set up for a comfortable and well-lit night out on the trail and at camp. But we're not done yet. One last addition to our Land Cruiser is a rooftop vehicle awning. Now this awning is going to provide us some much needed shade when we're camping in hot and sunny locations. Now I've chosen to get the Napa sold uh, Maxi Track awning. Um, it's very reasonably priced. It's no longer $99 like it was last year when you couldn't find them. They're actually $160, I believe now. Uh, but either way, that's the cheapest awning I could find. 
I don't even know if I'm gonna enjoy having an awning or if it'll stay permanently, but at $160, I can install it. If I don't like it, I'll take it back off when the trip's over. Um, I've watched some videos online and evidently you can add an ARB uh, enclosed room to these awnings. So that's something to consider. That might be cool. Um, I may do that down the line. Not sure. We'll see how it goes. But today we're going to get it up there and installed. Um, I did order, I have a Bowfin Cruisers roof rack uh, and really like it. So he has some mounts, Bowfin Cruisers. He has some mounts that are real heavy duty. Um, so we're going to use those to mount to the rack and uh, let's get started. Installing the awning is going to be pretty straightforward using the Bowfin Cruiser awning brackets that we ordered. We're attaching the awning to the roof rack and once it's secured we can easily roll out the awning and set it up to create a comfortable shaded area right next to the vehicle no matter where we are. Try again. And there you have it. Our 1995 Toyota 80 series Land Cruiser is now fully equipped and ready for any epic overlanding trip we want to take. We've installed a rear sleeping platform for a comfortable night's rest, backup LED lights, ditch lights, spotlights on our ARB bumper, a new mirrors for better rear view visibility, set of Lux rock lights for added convenience around camp and on the trail to see the terrain, and a rooftop vehicle awning for some much needed shade during our camping adventure. Winchy Outdoors was a friend of mine He always got on time If you want to see Some outdoor machines You better subscribe To Winch Outdoors What a long time ago He brought the water out with him on that one. But now I've found what I was looking for. Come on. Come along. I don't know. We're just making it up here. But do me a favor and give me a like on this video if you like it. We've got our, we've got our awning. We've got our kitchen. We've got our ditch lights, we've got our rock lights. We're ready to hit the road. Well, thanks for coming along with us and seeing the upgrades we've made to our 80 series Land Cruiser. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more overlanding adventures and DIY upgrades. Until next time, happy trails and safe travels. I'd just like to take this opportunity to say thanks for being here. Um, I want to take a moment to, to send a couple shout outs. I want to say thanks. Uh, he's a good friend of mine, putting out some great content. Slater Rock Shop. This is actually his facility uh, in North Greenville, so appreciate you letting me use the lift. You guys go check it out. Slater Rock Shop on YouTube. He's got a one ton swapped LS powered Ford Ranger. Um, 1983, I think. Not sure on the year. I uh, want to give another shout out to my buddy, Four Wheel Boogie. Uh, he's a great supporter of Winch Outdoors YouTube channel. And uh, last but certainly not least, Weld One SC. He does great work. He can weld uh, way better than I can. I've rambled on enough. And uh, really, what I just want you to do is press that subscribe button. So if you could do that for me, I'll just. I'll stop rambling and we can get on to the next video, which is going to be really good. Just FYI. Um, so stick around. If you want to subscribe, 
bell notification, all that jazz. Um, yeah, heck yeah, winch outdoors. The adventure begins with a short trip up to the North Carolina-Tennessee border where we will head up Hurricane Creek Road and find a little campsite for the weekend before heading west towards the great Rocky Mountains. <laughs>